Well, in an exclusive news, Rick Republic now has access to call details of arrested Congress legislator Sukhpal Singh Kera with alleged drug smugglers. Now, according to the inputs that we have accessed, uh, Kera allegedly spoke to Gurdev Singh, who happens to be a drug convict. Let's just quickly take you through all the details that we have uh, so far. In fact, the entire link that has emerged and what are the allegations that have been leveled against Congress legislator. Let's look at what the Congress legislator and his families have to say. They say that this particular case, the FI that was registered in this particular case, was actually struck down by the Supreme Court. They say that it is nothing but political vendetta and raising questions about the action taken by Punjab police. On the other hand, Punjab government maintains that this is a crackdown on the drug mafia. And they say that they are not going to end this unless they manage to clean up the drug mafia that exists in Punjab. Let me also quickly go across to my colleagues who are getting us the latest details. 85 calls that were actually made between Gurdev and uh, Sukhpal Khera. Those are the latest details that we are picking up while we go to put out those graphics for you to understand what are the allegations that have been leveled by Punjab Police's SIT. As you can see on your screens right now, details of the calls that have been made between Gurudev, a man who goes by the name of Charanjit and Sukhpal Khera. And between, in just about 11 days, 85 calls were actually made. Let me also quickly try and go across to my colleague Piyush Ori who is joining us on this broadcast and, and in a short while from now Amandeep would also be getting us the latest details. Remember it's Amandeep who has accessed the latest uh, details. What do you see right now on your screens? On your screen is Sukhpal Khera's call details that have been accessed. Days before Gurudev Singh's arrest that was on 4th of March. These were the number of calls that were allegedly made between Sukhdev Kera and Charanjit Kaur, as you can see the number of calls that have been made and the duration that they spoke to each other. This was just before the arrest that was made and this is an assertion that has now been made by Punjab Police's SIT while seeking custody of Sukhpal Kera. Remember he's already been sent to judicial custody for 14 days which essentially would mean that uh, in all likelihood the Congress legislator would be applying for bail very soon. But take a look at the sensational allegations that have been levelled against Sukhpal Khera with regards to his association, rather his alleged association with drug cartels and also the fact that there is a Pakistan link that has essentially emerged from the calls that have been made so far. We'll try and go across to Amandeep in a short while from now. I'm told that Amandeep and Piyush Ori are joining us on this broadcast, getting us this exclusive news break is my colleague uh, Amandeep, Amandeep, break it down for our viewers. The calls that have been made between Sukhpal Khera and the drug cartel, what is it that the timeline, what does the timeline essentially suggest? Well, of course, Shivan, this is the only concrete evidence between the drug cartel. Well, absolutely, absolutely, Shavan. This is the only concrete piece of evidence bet uh, between the drug uh, peddler Gurdev Singh and Sukhpal Singh Khera. So, basically, on the basis of these call records, Sukhpal Singh Khera has been arrested by Punjab police. And in fact, there are three important characters in this entire drug nexus. Number one, Gurdev Singh. Gurdev Singh is the one who is close associate of Sukhpal Singh Khera and in fact was in touch with Pakistani drug smuggler Intiaz Elias Kala. And Gurdev Singh, the one who was operating his entire nexus and network of this drug smuggling in Punjab in India. And his all eight members were constantly in directly in touch with Gurdev Singh. And Gurdev Singh is communicating each and everything to Sukhpal Singh Khera through his sister Charanjit Kaur, who is presently sitting in United Kingdom. And she has been declared proclaimed offender by Punjab police in this similar case. And in fact, Gurdev Singh, whenever he has to communicate anything to Sukhpal Singh Khera, he directly called his sister Charanjit Kaur in UK. And Charanjit Kaur further made a call to Sukhpal Khera 
for five seconds and asking him that attend the call from his PA's number just because they don't want to maintain any call record between directly between them. And then uh, Sukhpal Khera's PA Joga Singh received a call from United Kingdom's number that is from Charanjit Kaur and Sukhpal Khera speak to Charanjit Kaur regarding the activities of Gurdev Singh in connection to the drug smuggling. And in fact, the calls are like on uh, on fourth of March, uh, just a day before the police have arrested nine people in this entire case. On fifth of March, the case has been registered. Nine people have been arrested, and on fourth of March, eleven calls has been exchanged between Sukhpal Singh Khera, Charanjit Kaur, and Gurdev Singh. And even uh, 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 from fifth of March back to eleven days. Eleven days, sixty-five calls has been exchanged between Sukhpal Singh Khera, Charanjit Kaur, and Gurdev Singh. Gurdev Singh call uh, to uh, Charanjit Kaur at seven fifty-three p.m. Charanjit Kaur call to Sukhpal Singh Khera for five seconds. The very next minute, seven fifty-four p.m. and seven fifty-five p.m. Charanjit Kaur again calling to Joga Singh, who is PA to Sukhpal Singh Khera, and that call remain continued to two to three minutes. And in fact, similarly, all the calls has been again made to again Charanjit Kaur call to Joga uh, Gurdev Singh to deliver the message of Sukhpal Singh Khera, whatever the discussion had happened. So on the basis of these call records, Sukhpal Khera has been arrested, and in fact, now his property has also been under scanner, and the police is trying to procure the details of his property and the source of income from where he has purchased the property. But this is. This is the uh, this is the nexus that how this entirely connected to Pakistan to United Kingdom and to Congress MLA Sukhpal Singh Khera and Gurdev Singh is the person who was receiving the drugs consignment from Pakistani drug smuggler Intiaz Ilyas Kala and in fact further assigning the jobs to other eight people who have been convicted in this case and in fact. The money has been shared. The money, the the drug money has been shared among all the people, and one piece of that drug money has also been allegedly shared with the Sukhpal Singh Khera also, and he has been used this money in the campaign and everywhere in the campaign while Sukhpal Singh Khera has contested the elections from Sukhpalak constituency. Everywhere, Gurdev Singh was remained sitting next to him. He was he was the main financer to his entire election, and in fact, that is the reason the connection between Gurdev Singh and Sukhpal Singh. Khera via his his sister Charanjit Kaur has been established right. just because Sukhpal Singh Khera was not maintaining a direct contact with Gurdev Singh. Yes. Well, let me also go across to Piyush Ori, who has been tracking the court cases. In fact, he's also spoken to the lawyers of uh, Sukhpal Khera. Piyush, why don't you take us through the details? Uh, that were presented before the court in terms of the evidence that has been gathered by the Punjab police and what is it that uh, counsel of uh, Sukhpal Khera had to say. So yes, Shavan, today we did raise this point uh, of the details, of these uh, exclusive details which was accessed by my colleague Amandeep of how uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera was associated with this person called uh, Gurdev Singh who in turn was associated with uh, Irfan alias uh, Kala. And uh, what uh, we got to hear from the counsel team of uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera was that Gurdev Singh uh, is a person who has been associated, who has been uh, made as an accused in this case and who has been made his uh, to be connected with Sukhpal Singh Khera since 2015. However, despite uh, several investigations in this case, nothing concrete has been found and thereby Today also when the police was trying to seek the custody of Sukhpal Singh Khera, the court firmly rejected it, thereby uh, putting Sukhpal Singh Khera uh, in the judicial custody. Interestingly, today uh, the council team also told us that not only Gurdev Singh, but the police also raised uh, two more important people, two more people who are right now placed uh, uh, in uh, Punjab jails uh, regarding this uh, drug uh, smuggling and trafficking in which uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera uh, is allegedly involved. And uh, the, these two people were known as uh, Kashmir Singh and uh, Gopi. So yes, uh, as far as the council team is concerned, they feel that this is a witch hunt, this is a uh, means to malign uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera and this is the case which is going for long in which the Punjab police has not been able to find investigation but interestingly what we were told by the council team is that it is not only Gurdev Singh uh, who uh, which in turn uh, is being associated with uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera but there are also now two more associates namely Kashmir Singh and Gopi. 
Now it's only going to be interesting to see that with uh, judicial custody now being given uh, to uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera and the council team having uh, given us uh, the surety that they will go for the bail, will the bail be given to Sukhpal Singh Khera, taking into consideration with the grave allegations which has been levelled against him? Back to the studio. Well, thank you very much, uh, Piyush, for getting us the latest uh, details. We're also getting in some more breaking news right now. I'll request both Piyush as well as Amandeep uh, to stay on with us as we get you more details that is essentially emerging in the investigation that has been carried out so far. Before we uh, go across uh, to the next breaking that's, uh, that's uh, coming in right now, let me just uh, take a quick word for also from Amandeep. Amandeep, in terms of the FIs that have been registered so far, one of the things that has been spoken about is whether at all Well, in fact, uh, we're getting in some more de details. Uh, Amandeep, I'll just come back to you with uh, more details that are now coming in. Republic, in fact, has learned that uh, Kera has sought permission to travel abroad days before his arrest. He had cited medical treatment as the reason behind his application. But with these explosive details of the alleged link with uh, drug smugglers emerging, now, question that is... Uh, being raised whether at all there was an attempt to flee from the country he sought permission to leave the country for medical treatment i'll just once again go back to amandeep amandeep the question that i was trying to ask you just before the breaking news actually came in one was with regards to the fir that have been registered so far family members of sukhpal khera say that uh, the supreme court had struck down the fir so what exactly is this FIR all about? As we understand that this is not the only FIR that he faces, there are multiple charges that have been levelled against Sukhpal Khera. And second, the information that is now coming in that he had uh, sought permission to leave the country. Well, absolutely. Shaman, first we talk about the FIR that was registered back in 2015 uh, against nine accused and even in that first FIR, the, the name of Sukhpal, Sukhpal Singh Khera was not nominated at that point in time. But later, when the interrogation uh, of, uh, of Gurdev Singh was done by Punjab police, uh, in, during the interrogation, he named uh, Gurdev Singh named uh, Sukhpal Singh Khera's name that he will um, shelter him, he will protect him from this entire case. Then the police smells the role of Sukhpal Singh Khera. Then the police find out the call trail of Sukhpal Singh Khera with Karanjit Kaur with Gurdev Singh also. And in fact, after that, it is alleged by uh, the Punjab police as well as uh, uh, the accused, uh, the, uh, e e even in the, uh, in the entire investigation, that Sukhpal Singh Khera had made the call. Then the IG who was investigating the case to provide the relief to Gurdev Singh. So they, from there, the police has taken the lead and further they have established the lead. They have collected the evidence and in fact, in 2017, they have summoned Sukhpal Singh Khera just because initially he was not named in the FIR. After interrogation, after investigation, in 2017, they have sent the summons to Sukhpal Singh Khera to join the investigation. But Sukhpal Singh Khera has availed his legitimate right and went against those summons. And in fact, later in 2022, Sukhpal Singh Khera was charged by enforcement directorate in money laundering case. And now the police, the new SI team, the new investigation team who has been, who is investigating this uh, entire uh, drug nexus, not only the role of Sukhpal Singh Khera, the entire drug nexus headed by DIG Swapan Sharma, they again reopened the file and they again access and analyzed the concrete evidence that was mentioned in the earlier investigation and on the basis of that they, they feel that in investigation regarding the role of Sukhpal Singh Khera is very much required. So this is how the arrest has been made and Sukhpal Singh Khera's no name has been nominated into this entire case. Now if we just come to the next point that Sukhpal Singh Khera who is accused of enforcement directorate and facing the charge sheet of money laundering case, he has submitted an application before the ED special court in Mohali seeking the permission to travel to abroad for his medical treatment. Even after arguments, uh, the ED court has allowed his permission but with certain conditions as well. So on 25th of September this month, that is that means three days, just three days before the arrest of Sukhpal Singh Khera. The ED court has right. allowed that application and permitted Sukhpal Singh Khera to travel abroad for his treatment but with certain conditions he has to 
furnish the details of the doctors and the hospitals right. and in fact the disease which is going to get treated so this is how the entire uh, investigation and the role of sukhpal singh khera with the so complications arise in this entire case yes well thank you very much uh, amadeep uh, and piyush shori for getting us the latest uh, details the story that we have been tracking very closely alleged links that have now emerged in fact punjab police society says uh, that the investigation is at a nascent stage they are in the process of collecting more evidence with regards to the alleged link between sukhpal khera and the drug cartel